Sporting clubs say they're struggling to raise funds to buy defibrillators amid a push to have the life-saving device at all Victorian sports venues. And it's the clubs in rural areas where ambulance services are limited that are going without. For a heart attack victim, every minute counts. Without uh, ready access to a defibrillator, the chance of surviving a sudden cardiac event is around uh, 2 to 5 per cent. The push for defibrillators is spreading across regions and sporting codes, with new technology making the device easy to use. Cut clothing if needed. The Rotary Club of Ballarat today donated a third machine. Attendees at a lunch hearing, it's not just players who may benefit. We have 3,500 players per week. We probably have an equal number of people who uh, come into our club, whether it's for you know, the bistro or other functions. Recent on-field tragedies have prompted several football clubs to act. The Central Murray League's purchased a dozen of the devices, but others are struggling to meet the cost. For a start, if we can't raise the funds, we're actually looking at some sort of sponsorship. We may be able to get onto one through that. Ovens and Murray says it's looking into the VCFL's $300 rebate offer, which still leaves a $2,000 funding shortfall. In the state's southwest, it's proving much more difficult for some of the smaller clubs to find sponsors and raise funds. While the importance of having a defibrillator close by is clear, they simply can't afford one. Campaigners hope AFL Victoria and the state government will come to the party. Natalie Shenkin, Win News.